I'm Tyler Harding, American sportscaster here outside City Field in New York City, where today home team heroes, the New York Mets, will face hottest team in baseball, St. Louis Cardinals. Now, it is going to be an interesting game because Ozzy Phelan and Bruce Crabb will be disappointed by the end of the season for their Mets. It's going to be interesting. I can't wait to see how this one plays out. First pitch isn't too far away, so let's go and see what happens. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villa, welcome to episode 74 of the New York Mets, and as you've just heard, we are going to the wild card game against the St. Louis Cardinals. Now if we have a look, you can see right there, the winner will play the Braves, which is absolute rubbish. Uh, I'm trying to think of a swear word I can use there that's not going to get me demonetized, because we have the equal best record as, at uh, as Cincinnati, surely. And I know the wild card is supposed to be the, to the lesser teams, but surely it should be the Dodgers that play the Braves and we should play Cincinnati, assuming we get past St. Louis, which there is no guarantee we will. Because look at St. Louis's recent form, 9-1 and one, their last 10. We are 7-3. and three. We did pick up a little bit towards the end of the season. So I'm a little bit more hopeful than I was at the end of last episode that we might be able to get through a, uh, yeah, get through a, um, a wild card game. But I still am not filled with confidence. Um... Where do we start? Injuries is probably a good spot. Justin Wilson, we're losing him for the postseason. Six weeks he's out for. We're really, really going to miss him out of the bullpen. Not only is he an absolute beast of all these days and he's just unplayable, but also um, left-hander. So we, we're, we're down a lefty and now the bullpen as well. So that is disappointing. Reoccurring back spasms for him. Um, so that's disappointing. And the other one's Drew Smith. This is this is almost career-ending as far as he's concerned, or Mets are career-ending anyway. 13, 14 months, torn rotator cuff. Uh, I've done that, and that I couldn't throw for, like, years afterwards. Well, I didn't have professional medical help, so, you know, maybe he'll be a little bit better off than I was. But, uh, again, he was a decent option out of the bullpen, but, I mean, this has all dropped off a little bit since the injury, but we're without Drew Smith as well. This is, I guess, the best place to start, maybe, is with the playoff lineup that we've selected. Pitching, it almost picks itself. Now, another thing that's an annoying thing here, you to see Syndergaard is not fit to go for this one, because in his infinite wisdom, uh, I rested, uh, Syndergaard was scheduled to start the last game of the season. I rested him, I took him off, put him here, just has no particular role, uh, emergency, or I might even put emergency starting pitcher as his role. Uh, so what happened? Bruce Crabb bought him in out of the bullpen, and so he's not available for this one. So we're going to go with Tejada. Um, I'll show you why now, because if we look here at home records, because we are at home, uh, he has a very good ERA and whip. So it, uh, back, arguably, well, actually, not arguably, it is better than, um, than Syndergaard, albeit the war is not as good. But, so we're going to go, basically, we're going to go with the fresh man. Everybody's available out of the bullpen, because ultimately, we just need to get through this game. So, yeah, that's that's the pitching. The, the rest of the pitching staff pretty much picks itself. It's going to be Syndergaard, Tejada, Peterson, and Stefanovic as the sort of starting four. Um, Stefanovic will be on a low use, uh, I think. Uh, the bullpen, Diaz, Zamora, whose ERA is not great coming out of a bullpen, but we need. I wanted to have a lefty option um, sort of as a setup with uh, Garcia. Trey Cobb, we ended up uh, sticking with him. Um, for the postseason, so that's good news for him. Uh, Gilliam, who I'm not fully confident in, but will hopefully do a job for us. Villanez, uh, Bobby Nichols, and Camore out of the bullpen as well. I want to have a, the strongest bullpen we can. What we might do, though, is we might put him on high, uh, no, normal usage. We'll put Villanez maybe as used more often, uh, and maybe Gilliam as used less often. Uh, and then Bobby Nichols, I think, will just use... I toyed with the idea of starting as Bobby Nichols as a starting pitcher. He's better as a relief pitcher, um, but also... Well, yeah, he's better as a relief pitcher, basically, was the reason. Um, I, the other thought process was to have another righty in the rotation, because three lefties seems a lot. But we just have left-handers, because we have all lefties for hitting as well. Uh, speaking of hitting, this this is the lineup. You'll notice that we've got rid of all the snowflakes, which is good. Um, the main admission here is Odenfell... In good conscience, we couldn't pick him for this. Uh, we've gone with an extra outfielder and one less infielder. So we just have uh, Rosario because basically everybody can play the middle infield and third base. We can kind of cover. Everybody can cover everybody else. So we've gone with the extra outfielder just because I'm not completely convinced by the bats in the outfield. Um, I'm relatively confident in how the infield hits. 
So, yeah, the big admission there is, as I said, is Odenthal. Uh, Newton was unlucky not to get in. Again, he can only play third base, which was a negative against him. Uh, and his bat wasn't any better than anybody else's, really. Uh, and the other one, maybe, is is Vaughn, who came in and did okay, but ultimately wasn't as good as, as everybody else. So, there we go. That's the, that's the lineup there. Alvarez, Del Castillo, Blue, Smith, McNeil, Morlock, Mauricio... Uh, Rosario Conforto. Luis Gonzalez is perhaps the bolter, um, but he's done okay since he came in. Um, uh, Treadmill, Suzuki, and Alec Thomas as well. So that is they are they are the boys that are going to get us into the into the playoffs proper if we are going to indeed get there. So have a quick look. There's no point going into this in too much detail here. But you can see after we left here with the loss to Atlanta, we had a, a bit of a crappy series against Washington. We lost one of two. Oh, sorry, we only won one of three there. Um this was a good series against Miami. Two games in a day, job done there. We swept the uh, the Brewers, and I was thinking maybe, but this loss to Miami that was the one that clinched it for um, that clinched it for well they caught Atlanta, and then after that we were solid enough. We had the three game series against Atlanta. We won two of them, so you know we're in decent form. We ended the season as you can see, ninety five uh, wins, ninety six defeats. It was actually our third best season. Um, where did I find that out? It was uh, no, it was my home screen. And it was history. Yeah, there we go. So you can see it was actually our third best season um, in total. Where, where's the, where am I looking at here? Oh, there we go there, percentages. So you can see last year was, and our first year were the two best. And this was the next best. So, you know, we didn't do badly. I think it's just, it fell apart after the All-Star break, after such a promising start. And that is where, that's where it kind of looks as though it, you know, that's where, that's where it hurts, I think, isn't it? Is that... Yeah, we didn't, um, we just didn't do it, did we? We just didn't do it. We fell apart at the end. I think if we'd been sort of consistent the whole way through, we'd feel, I, w I would personally feel a lot better coming into this series um, than I do sort of now. A couple of other things maybe to catch up on here that are of interest. For the month of September, Edwin Diaz was uh, the National League Pitcher of the Month. And for the week ending this week, I think the 24th, uh, Mauricio was the National League Player of the Week. So for this, uh, so it would be what for that week there, where we had all wins, which was quite incredible. Um, so that is that. That's everything I think caught you up on. Um, I mean, you can only put this off for so long, can't we? Let's go play a wild card game. And here we go. Here we go. This is the lineup. At we're hosting, of course, the game. So hopefully we'll do well. Jeff McNeil. We're going to continue to. East we're going to continue with him. He's leading off, playing second base. Murlock bats second and plays third. Mauricio, we've moved him up the order to three. He plays shortstop. Dominic Smith comes in for blue for this one. Uh, he bats in cleanup. Suzuki bats five in right field. Conforto bats six in left field. Nimmo, uh, treadmill, of course, bats seven in center field. Francesco Alvarez, he's the catcher at number eight. And Louis Tejada pitches for this one. We're up against Garrett Cole. Um, he's a very, very good pitcher, isn't he? This Look at this. Look at He's led the league in both whip. In uh, walks per um, per strikeout and in ERA, so we are really, really in tough. Oh, let's just hope we get the job done. So, welcome to City Field for hopefully not the last time this season. Um, yeah, let's just see what we can do. We need a Louis Tejada masterclass here, like he gave us time and time again last season. Like I said at the start, that he is better at City Field, so we need him to show that here. He starts things off with a walk. Not what was needed, mate. Not what was needed. Um, come on, mate. Get yourself going here. Oh, I think that's okay. It's going to be caught out there. Treadmill's coming around. He should make that play. Left field's there as well, but it's left for Treadmill, and the runner stays at first. There's the first out of the wild card game. Um, perhaps the one controversial selection is not... Oh, there's that. Absolutely smacked down the third base line. Is that going to score a run? And this is not looking good, is it? It is going to score a run. One out, runner at second, and we're 1-0 down. And the Louis Tejada, do we call it a gamble, is already looking as though it's not paying off. I mean, it's not a gamble because Syndergaard wasn't able to play. I mean, he could have, but he could, maybe he was 43% fit or whatever. Yeah, his, his fitness level was 43%. He may have, we may have got two or three innings out of him. Um, and I, I figure by setting him as a, out of the bullpen, that's been popped up, has it? Yes. Um, by setting him out of the bullpen, we can get two or three innings out of him anyway, if that's what we want to do. So there we go. We've fallen behind in the top of the first. Not ideal, but we've maybe just about got away with that. All right, Jeff McNeil leads us off. Come on, mate. 
back to your early season form. If we can get, if we can recapture our early season form, we can still win this World Series. I have no doubt about that. There's an out though for McNeil there. Um, <clears throat> it's just current form just does not suggest that there's anything in this for us. I mean, we were seven and three, but they were nine and one. They come into this. Oh, Morlock, go on, son. Gets himself on base. Holds up at first. That's okay. Ronnie Mauricio now, one of the stars of Major League Baseball towards uh, well, September anyway. Oh, Mauricio, he's hop popped that up so, so high. And is it going to get out for us? Has it hit the stadium? Where is this guy going? And it is eventually caught. And as, yeah, that was, that was the highest ball I think we've ever seen. Dominic Smith in for blue. Come on, mate. He's popped it up as he, yes, he has. And that is going to end the innings for us. We finished the first, 1-0 down. We did get a hit, but not really enough. All right, come on, Tejada. I beg of you, mate. You, it's, This is what frustrates me with uh, Tejada this year. He was Cy Young Award winner last year. Where has that form gone? Come on, mate. And he's walked, walked another, was it another one? I don't even know how many he's walked now. Yeah, no, did he walk one? What was that? We got a walk. Anyway, it doesn't matter. There's a runner on first. There's none out. Tejada strikes one out. All right, come on, mate. Get your arm going. Connor Couple. He walks another one. Come on, Louis Tejada, mate. It is his third walk of the game. And oh, what's the pitcher? Let's just don't give a home run to the pitcher. Oh, I tell you what, he's hit that. And the pitcher gets a base hit. What is going on? Surely he could have tagged him as he ran past. But anyway. Um, loaded base is one out. That's been popped up. Is it deep enough? I don't know that it is. Come on, treadmill. Show us your arm, mate. Excellent stuff. All right, that's two away. If we can get out of this without giving up any runs, it'll be a minor miracle. Come on, Tejada. Gets the strikeout. Go on, Louis. Go on, son. All right, we're still in this game. That could have ended very badly. In a full count, I, just, I was fearing the walk. I've got to be honest. All right, Suzuki comes up now. Come on, mate. We know what you can do. You showed us in the early months of the season. He gets a little grubber thing off the end of the bat, and that's not going to get the job done. That is the first out of the bottom of the second. Michael Conforto down the order because he's not he's not doing it for us. And he walks. Oh, he checked his swing, and he gets up to first. There we go. And it's now Treadmill. What can he do? Conforto's going to steal. He's never going to get there, is he? What's Conforto doing stealing? Bruce, you Muppet. You stupid, stupid crustacean. That's two out. No one on. And Treadmill strikes out. We end the second. It's still 1-0. As long as it's still 1-0, there's obviously a chance. Come on, Louie. This is the guy. He slapped one down third baseline last time, didn't he? But that's going to be caught out there by Treadmill. Nicely done, mate. Nicely done. One away. We go again with Mookie Betts. What's Mookie got? He's got a hit down to Morlock. Morlock picks it up over to Smith. And there we go. That is the second out. All right. Dare we say this is looking a little bit better, this innings. Come on, Tejada, mate. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. that's popped up as well. And that should be easy enough. Treadmill's coming around. And he hopefully is going to get there. Yes, he does. All right. Nicely done, boys. Nicely done. Three up, three down. Let's see if we can make a dent with the bat now. Francesco Alvarez steps up. He's been a star when we need him to this year. Can he do it again? No, he cannot. We don't really need it yet, though, do we? So maybe we'll give him that one. All right, Tejada comes into bat. What's he got for us? He's got a hit on it, but it's straight back to the pitcher, and that's going to be the second out, which is going to bring McNeil up with two outs. This is usually when he gets hit, isn't it? When it doesn't matter. It's a full count. Come on. And he strikes out. Ah, oh, McNeil. If we manage to get through this game... Do we have to consider dropping him from the top of the order, I wonder? All right, Tejada, let's go, mate. Come on. That should be easy enough for Morlock. It is over to Smith, and that is the first out of the... What are we doing now? The fourth innings. Kisman, I think it was, or Kis Kisna. That's up the middle. Oh, it's going to get past Mauricio, and it's a one-out hit. A one-out single. And it brings up Connor Kappel again. Can we get into a double play here? Oh, it's been well hit. It's going to get in for a hit. And it's heart attack stuff again. One out, two on. 
This needs to be an out, doesn't it? It's the pitcher again. Of course, he slapped one really hard. He got a base hit last time. That could be the double play ball we wanted, though. That could be the double play ball we wanted. All right, we've got out of the fourth innings as well. This is good stuff. Come on, boys. Come on. Now we just need to get some sort of hitting thing going here. Some sort of rally. Come on, Morlock. Morlock, he's popped that up. How high are we hitting the ball in the air today? That's taking six months. Shout as you run past. If he drops it, it's a double. That's how high that went. But he didn't drop it. And that's one away. Ronnie Mauricio, come on, mate. Please. I'm already pleading with them. And he strikes out as well. Who's this bring up now? Dominic Smith. Come on, smudge up. He gets a hit on it. Is it going to get through? No, it's not. And that is another quick innings for us. We need to get that this uh, Garrett Cole out of the game, don't we? Um, he's just looking a little bit too good for us right now. It's Tejada. Two and two. He's popped it up. That should be easy enough for Treadmill coming in. And there we go. One away. Good stuff there. Tejada again. Come on, mate. That's hit. Strength to Mauricio. Should be easy enough. Over to Smith. Just in time. And there's the second out. Come on. It's Nolan Gorman. Now, he already, as I said, he slapped one down the first baseline to get the only RBI of the game so far. That's not going anywhere. Mauricio picks that up over to Smith. And that is another good innings from Tejada. 1-0. It's a tight game, isn't it? We, just, we need to try and break it open for ourselves. Come on, Suzuki. He's hit that well. Is that going to get through? It is going to get through. Suzuki with a leadoff single. Can we make this count now? Whatever you do, don't try and steal him, Bruce, your Muppet. All right. It's Conforto. Conforto strikes out. It's one away. It brings Treadmill up to the plate. What's Treadmill got? Treadmill! Oh, is it going to be double play? No, I think he got back in time. And it's Francesco Alvarez. We need a triple, please. He's got that. No, it's not going to get through. It's not going to get through. And we can't make the most of the leadoff single. And we're halfway through this game now. We're more than halfway through this game. It's flying by. Villanez comes in. Who's gone out? So we've brought Del Castillo into catch. Villaness comes in up against Mookie Betts, and we need a Villaness special here, don't we? Come on. That's going to get through, is it? Oh, it is. It's just over Smith's head, and it's a leadoff single. A first pitch single as well. Come on, Villaness. Come on, mate. That could be a double play. It could be a double play. Can we turn it? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. All right. Good stuff. From our reliever here. Come on, Villanez. One more, please. One more. There we go. Oh, he's good. I really, really have a massive, massive man crush on Stephen Villanez. If you can have a man crush on someone in a video game. But <laughs> that's where we're at. All right. It's Adrian Del Castillo. Fresh into the game, of course. What's he got for us? I wonder how often it is that two at-bats in a row are two catches. I'm going to guess not very often. But a similar result to Alvarez last time out. And that is the first out of the innings. We've got to break this game open. We've got to get Garrett Cole out of this game. It's an ambitious bunt there for McNeil. And that is not going to get the job done. At least he's trying something, I suppose. It's a Birdhard Morlock. Come on, mate. We need something from you. He's got it. Has he got it through? No, he has an ult. an error. It's going to be an error. That's Morlock on base with two outs. We'll take it. We will take it. If Mauricio can do something wonderful here. Come on, mate. He out. Oh, we've got to get Cole out of this ball game. Um, we're through seven, six innings now. Villainess goes again. What can we do? I mean, it's up to Bruce Crabb what we do. I don't, I don't know what we can do. I mean, how do you get a pitcher out of a game other than just like go up and whack him in the leg with a baseball bat? I'm pretty sure that's illegal. I don't think you can do that according to the rules. Oh, that's been well hit. Suzuki's there, though, and makes a decent catch in the end. That's two away. Does bring Garrett. Why don't you pitch hit him? It's two strikes on the pitch up. Villanez sends him back. We stretch. It's one to nil. We need to do something here. As things stand, obviously, we are going out of the playoffs. And they have taken him out. All right. I mean, this guy looks pretty friggin' good as well. Stuff. Movement can maybe controls not there, but can Dominic Smith get on top of him early here? Come on, Smitho. 
Come on, mate. Oh, he's hit that. He had definitely hit it well enough. I don't think he has. Or has he? Get out. Get out. No, it's not the warning track, and it's one away. Oh, that was a good that's better though, isn't it? That gives us hope. Suzuki, of course, who got a hit last time out. What can he do this time? He can strike out is what he can do. Oh, from a full count as well. It brings Conforto up. Can he be the saviour of the Mets here? Yo, back up the middle. Back up the middle. Hey, Conforto manages to get himself a two-out single. And it's got it's a treadmill that's up next, isn't it? It's the wrong part of the order. We need a treadmill miracle. Strikes out. Oh, I don't mind if you strike out, but at least have a swing at it. And there's two. We're, this game is flying past. It's going so, so fast. There's only two innings to go. Villainess. That's straight back to him, and that'll be an easy. Oh, Smith, you absolute clown. What should have been a first out of the innings is now a, nut, a man on second with none out. If they were to get a second one, then you really start to worry, don't you? Then we've got to get base runners. That looks huge. If you don't have the runner at first, it's a 2-0 ball game. As seen, and you know, maybe that doesn't happen. You know, if the throw was decent, maybe, you know, it's a different game, isn't it? That that makes life very, very difficult for us now, and I fear that what a season that promised so much, didn't it, early on, is going to end in wild card defeat. Come on, Villainess. We've, we can't afford any more runs here. I mean, that goes without saying. That's been crushed as well, and that is... Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe we're going to get there with Conforto. He does get there. Two away. Ryan McMahon now up against Villainess, who's got to be out on his feet. That's been popped up as well. He was the next, he's the next uh, batter slot up, so I'm sure we'll be pinch hitting for him. Um, but two runs that we could not afford. We've had three hits all game, and now we're suddenly we need to find three runs. My boy Blue comes in. Come on, Bluey. He's hit that, he's hit that really well. It's a single. Well done, mate. Well done. Maybe we'll bring you in for the next game, because Smith hasn't done much here. Now, what we don't need is a double play. Jordan Hendricks, or jo Jordan Hicks comes in. He is very special, isn't he? Del Castillo is at the plate. What's he got for us? Come on, Del Castillo. He's going to strike out, hasn't he? 0-2. Oh, that looked 100 mile an hour. That was very, very fast. Jeff McNeil with one away now. Jeff McNeil pops it up, and that's going to be two away with a runner on first. We need a little bit of Morlock magic here, don't we? To try and... I mean, if he get. If he can hit a home run here, it's, it, 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 it's game back on. But this is the strong part of our order. We need to make it work for us. Morlock's popped it up as well. And it's not looking good. We need a ninth innings miracle to keep our season alive. Syndergaard comes in. I mean, there's nothing to lose from this, do we? We've just got to keep him out. Come on, Noah. That's going to be a base hit. That's not what we needed from you, Noah. Suzuki with one for the cameras out there in right field, it looks like. That is a one on none out hit. Come on. There we go, Noah. All right. Come on, boys. Come on. It's couple. Oh, we picked him off, have we? We did pick him off. Go on, Noah. All right, that's two away. Let's finish this with a strikeout. No. Nope. It's going to be caught out there by Conforto. Well hit ball. But Conforto makes a simple catch. We need three runs in the ninth to get ourselves out of this mess. Ronnie Mauricio. He is going to get out. Oh, for a wonderful second there, I thought maybe, just maybe, Dominic Smith comes in the bat. He's done nothing today, has he? He strikes out. We're down to our final out. It's going to be the mother of all comebacks. It's Suzuki. It's 0-2. It's the end of our season. So there we go. We crash out in the wild card game. It's so disappointing. It's just really, really disappointing. Um, yeah, it's, it's just... I don't even know what to say. Um, one thing I thought we would look at since the season is finished is available jobs. 
Um, so there we go there. There are the there are the jobs in baseball. I'll tell you what, we're not going to the Braves. We could go to the Diamondbacks. Of course, we could reunite it with the Grom there. Um, I don't think there's much fun going to the Red Sox. The Cubs, maybe. I don't know. The Marlins or the Mariners maybe appeal to me. Or the Tampa Bay Devil Rays would go to the American League. Um, not with the Marlins, obviously. Um, but there we go. They're, they are the available jobs. Or we could stay with the Mets. Um, let me know what you're thinking. I'm really, I'm just really disappointed right now. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're 74 episodes in. That's a pretty good run at the Mets. So I don't know. I don't know. I'll let you guys be the judge. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure if you want to stay with the Mets, at least hit like so that I know, you know, people are still enjoying the series. Uh, but otherwise, guys, we'll be back on Friday. We'll round out the season, the end of season awards with the New York Mets. Uh, and we'll either play through the summer and we're going to have to strengthen pitching. I, think, or batting, I don't know. We're going to have to strengthen something. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out on Friday, guys. Don't forget to let me know your feedback in the comments and I'll see you then. Take care.